What's up, everyone? Welcome to Clash and Angels. I'm your host, Vacho, leader of Archangels. And this was our 83rd war win and uh, 25th in a row on a hot streak. And we were facing a client from uh, Myanmar and Nai Pyu Ta. I looked it up and it's a, apparently it's one of their national uh, football soccer teams. Anyways, uh, the first attack was done by and Andrik. Andrik had a great war. He had a six-star war, and uh, he did uh, two gohos, and this is the first one. Actually, this is the second one that he did, which was a cleanup. And um, lures out the clan castle. They had a peta in there, which, I mean, with a double poison, it's rather... They come rather easy to kill, kill clan castle troops at this point. You double poison them, and you wait. And... Uh, Experience tells us that a level 3 P.E.K.K.A, level 4 I guess, uh, takes a couple more wizard shots from wizards to get it killed. Anyways, he goes in, uh, standard kill uh, kill squad with uh, two golems, some wizards, wall breakers break in, sends in his king and his queen, and uh, the king here wanders off and starts going off to the into the base. Uh, outside the base, I mean, and uh, the queen is going to wander off to the left side and the king on the right side. Which is, technically, it's not bad in this case. Like, the royals are dead, and the cleanup has already started on the sides. I mean, the job is done, the clan castle is dead, so... Starting the cleanup on this type of base is pretty good if you've got a good set of hogs, and he's got 23 of them, so... Uh, he's going to start his hogs joining his king, uh, giving him a little relief there, and... Uh, there's a giant bomb in the corners, so he's going to move in with two sets of hogs on each side. And um, the bombs do go off, but he heals them, he heals his hogs nicely. And um, he's got no heals left here, but uh, the majority of his hogs are in the core, and uh, level 1 expos don't really hurt the hogs. And um, they close in on those two Teslas and take those out. And... Uh, all of his hogs move into the archer tower and the last two defenses, the wizard tower and the cannon. And considering this is like an 8.5, guys, it's a good job. I mean, uh, he cleaned up pretty nicely. And um, he's got a good set of hogs to do the cleanups. And he's got a wizard and his uh, bark king is still alive. Which is perfect. Good attack, already 94% done. Hogs are going to move into the base, take out the CC and the... Uh, the town hall. Great attack by Andrik. The next attack again was done by Andrik. It was uh, it was a fresh attack on the popular internet base called the Taylor, and uh, he did uh, he did another goho, yeah. And uh, this goho is. Um, the placement on the royals are inside the base, so he's going to lure out the clan castle. Again, they've got a P.E.K.K.A. in the CC. And uh, after double poisoning it... Uh, this base did not have a queen. That's, uh, that's that, that I just realized. and uh, Which makes it a lot easier. Uh, he's going to send his golems from the, the level 2, or I think level 3 wall side and uh, move in, yeah, level 3 walls and he's gonna move in his peccas from there uh, sorry, his golems from there and back him up with some wizards put the final touches on that peca and uh, wall break in and once he does that uh, he's got free reign with his hogs he's got 22 hogs and some uh, some goblins and a couple of, and an archer and uh, he's gonna do like a surgical deployment there. He's got uh, a giant, so he's gonna tank his hogs with his giants. His, yeah, he puts down his giant and uh, follows it up with uh, you know a mini Asian wall here. And uh, he puts down a haste. Uh, sorry, puts down a heal spell. And um, is going to work around the base. Puts down another giant and the remaining hogs and cleans out those two apartments and uh, the hogs are going to collapse into the core of the base as his kill squad is working on the middle which is uh, which is great 
Miss Hawks have made it down to the last compartment at this point and taking out that expo, and the wizard tower and the cannons. And um, just that wizard tower and the cannon left and the wizards are working on the outside. He deploys his remaining wizards and his archer to help with the cleanup. And uh, he's got plenty of hogs left over to go back into the core of the base and uh, clean up that storage unit. And uh, they're going to make it uh, lick storage and gold storage. Really nice attack. And um, just clean up left on the outside of the base. And uh, takes down. And he swags his heal spell really nicely down there, Andrew. A little bit of showboating. Good attack. Next attack I'll bring you is a Town Hall 8 attack. And um, a lot of people say the Go Wipe isn't a great attack, it's not a 3 star strategy. But when somebody designs a base like this, guys, and he's got like walls on the outside and he hasn't, he hasn't protected his walls really well. I mean, there's a there's a lot of attacks we could have done. We could have done a dragon attack on this base, but uh, I think the best attack was the... When we tried a dragon attack, and it came up a little short because of deployment, it was like, uh, let's try the go up on this one. We know it's going to work. We know what's in the clan castle, so why not? So uh, double poisons it. Gets a little impatient, drops his <laughs> lizards in the poison. But uh, yeah, we had discussed this one in the beginning and we said uh, go heavy on the wizard and make sure all that outside is clean so that your golems and pekkas don't wander off and start going around the base. And um, so yeah, he goes really heavy with wizards trying to clean out those external storages, uh, sorry, uh, collectors. Puts down his golems and uh, puts down a rage spell and uh, takes out those the mortar and the two cannons are the, the, the problematic ones there and once those go down the pekkas look like they're going to wander off a little bit but uh, the rage sucks them right into the base which was beautiful and he's going to put down another rage right here which is perfect perfect timing if you ask me because the pekkas instead of going back out and wandering they enter the base and get right into the core and uh, he puts down a heal spell to make sure that they're healed through the Tesla and um, they're gonna make good work in that core. They're gonna do some good work in that core, clean her up really quickly. The king is uh, he rages his king and he's got plenty of wizards on the outside, starts to clean up on the outside of the base, taking those uh, storages down while his kill squad and Pekka move through the base. Takes the, the wizard are working on the storages at this point, and he's got a P.E.K.K.A left over, it's going to start circling outside the base, and his king and golems are still alive, circling around. There's three de defenses left over, a cannon and two wizard towers, but his golems are still up. Well, he's got a golemite still up, and giant bomb just goes off, but he's got plenty of wizards on the outside, and uh, his king and golems tanking for the king. Great job. Ninety-three percent, two stars, and uh, his king and uh, Pekka make it to the last two defenses while the while the wizard is sniping on that wizard tower. And they're gonna make it out to the corner and uh, get that last builder hut. Great attack, Omar. The last attack is our specialty, our Town Hall 8 specialty, and uh, I believe it was... I think it was Modern to God who did it. Let's take a look. Yeah. And it was a barbecue dragon attack, and... Uh, badly designed. Not really triangulated, not perfectly triangulated, that is. It's not an equilateral triangle. Uh, uh, we exploit it. I mean, we do it time and time again. That's going to take uh, Zap Bolt Quake that the top air def and then come in from the bo bottom. The trick is to funnel in your dragons nicely, killing the. Make sure you get the huts first, 
and then uh, put a line of dragons, one for each external building, double up on the storages, put down the loons, and uh, raid your dragons into the base when you see the CC drag come out, while the balloons enter the base. You put down a haste spell, now you've got the additional haste spell since the update, which is beautiful because uh, they move right into the area defense. And um, what used to be a, a harder town, all eight dragon attack, is now rather easy. You've got plenty of dragons left over. They're all working in line, taking. I mean, the, the core of this base was heavily was high hit point buildings, which is which is well designed in essence. But he doesn't have any archer towers on the outside, on that top side, uh, sniping on his dragons, which. I mean, which defeats the purpose of putting high hit bullet building in the core of the building. I mean, we've seen a couple of these bases when the design, uh, when they've got high hit points, hit point buildings in the core, but you've got archer towers on the weak side of the base where there was one air defense, and uh, they've got archer towers there, and they snipe the the dragons out of the air while the dragons are working on the uh, on the storages, CC, and town hall. But in this case, there was only one, so it couldn't do enough damage to the dragons. And 96% uh, two star already done. Four dragons left over, and the last uh, storage goes down. The builder hut in the corner is uh, going to be targeted next, and the dragons are going to make it all the way to the far top corner and get that last builder hut. Nice attack, attack by modern. Well, thanks for joining us, guys. Just like I said, this was our 83rd war win, and uh, catch you on our hopefully 84th, uh, 26th in a row.